Hi everyone, my name is Sifu Liu Aoyang. I'm a Wing Chun instructor and movie choreographer. I've been working on different Yip Man movies and doing choreographer behind the scene. I started Wing Chun when I was 16 and I've been doing it for about you know, 15, 20 years now. My first teacher uh, I studied in Hong Kong is uh, Yip Jun. He is uh, the elder son of Grandmaster Yip Man. <laughs> Wing Chun have about um, over just maybe over 100 years of history. Originally, this come from the uh, Siulam Temple. According to the story, there's a woman monk, you know, nun. Her name is called Mui, right? So uh, she want to teach, you know, a girl Wing Chun. Uh, her name is called Wing Chun, basically a woman, right? To defeat, you know, uh, the gangster, you know, in the uh, village, right? So she want to create some style which is suitable for women to learn to fight a bigger guy and stronger guy. So this is a bit about the history of Wing Chun. The fighting style in Wing Chun is mainly Wing Chun is about uh, close distance martial arts. So Wing Chun, you have to learn how to get close to your opponent. For example, when they attack, you know how to get the angle and intercept the punch. And also Wing Chun good for continuous attack. So what does this mean is if you are a shorter, a smaller person, one punch you may not able to defeat your opponent, but if you continuous attack, you know, to the important area, you know, vulnerable area, then you're able to get the maximum effect. Of course, every style is a bit different, right? Um, but uh, Wing Chun emphasize is a soft martial art, so it's using, you know, soft energy. So in the future, you know, uh, for example, if uh, advanced Wing Chun practitioner, they will learn how to use the internal energy instead of using muscle power. They use the tendons to fight rather than using, you know, the uh, strength of the muscle or the tension of the muscle, right? So, of course, you know, all the martial at the end, they will meet at the same place. In my eye, but uh, the training method, you know, is a little bit different. Um, they got different reasons. Some people they want to have a balance of their health and also mental and physical health, and also some people they want some self defense. And some people they're interested in the culture, you know, Chinese culture or Wing Chun about the principle in Wing Chun. This is what they want to learn more. This is usually this is why they come to the class. Um, at the end of the day, theme is a theme. You know, most important theme is. Uh, the impact, you know, to the audience, right? And it's pretty. You have to be look pretty in front of the camera. So some of the movement is portrayed correctly. Some of the movement is not, because at the end of the day, it's for entertaining. You know, entertainment is not really for educational. If you want to do something correctly, you probably want to watch the um, educational DVD. I'm interested to promote Wing Chun or Chinese Kung Fu, right? So I think London is a good place to start because we got a lot of different culture in this city and also a lot of different people from different countries come here to work or holiday, etc, etc. So it will give me the biggest exposure uh, for teaching martial arts. So I think this is a good place to start. Um, if you want to be good at Wing Chun, I think first of all you need uh, dedication, you know, you have to make sure you really want to do it and you not easily give up because nowadays a lot of people they come to the class maybe a few weeks and they give up, right? Second is you have to really do research to find a good master, right? Because there's a lot of people teaching Wing Chun out there. Some is okay, some is not. So I want to share with more people that are interested to learn. This is my motivation why I want to teach and want to share my knowledge with the people that have passion about martial arts and their passion about learning Wing Chun. Yes, I'm always looking for in, uh, to improve my skill. For example, I go to uh, Russia and went to Thailand, you know, and different country and to learn different martial arts. The main reason is because if I can cross-reference different martial arts to Wing Chun, I can make my Wing Chun more uh, stronger 
and I understand the art better and I can apply it more effectively. Okay, bye, bye, bye.